Recently, the folks at KeePass added support for passkeys to its password manager. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to give a basic tutorial on how to use KeePass XC, including the new passkey feature. Keep in mind I won't be going over every single toggle or setting, just enough for you to get up and running. However, I do encourage you to look at the KeePass documentation for more detailed explanations. Let's get started. When you first open KeePass XC, you will be greeted with this menu, followed by three options below. Here we can create databases, open pre-made databases, or create a database by importing a passwords file. Since we're starting from scratch, click on the Create Database option on the left. Here we have the options to give our password database a unique name and description. While you could use passwords as the name, it's not recommended for obvious security and privacy reasons. The description box is completely optional and can be left blank if you so choose. When you're finished, click the continue button on the bottom of the window. Here we can tweak the encryption settings for our database. The first option allows us to adjust the time it takes for the database to be opened, ranging from less than a second up to 5 seconds max. Generally, increasing the decryption time offers better protection. The next option is the file format for your database. KDBX4 is used by default, but you can also choose KDBX3 if you wish. For the sake of the tutorial, we'll be choosing a decrypt time of 5 seconds and using the KDBX4 file format. Before moving on, let's take a look at the advanced settings menu. Here we can change the encryption algorithm being used. The key derivation function. Transform rounds. Memory usage. And parallelism. Continuing on, the next screen allows us to set up the master password for our database. This password is what will be protecting your database of other logins and credentials, so be sure to make it a good one and easy for you to remember. Clicking on Add Additional Protection brings up a couple extra options to combine with your master password. These include using a key file or hardware key, such as a UB key. When you're finished with this window, simply click Done, and you'll be asked where you want to save the database file. This is the last step, and once it's saved, your database will automatically be opened up for you to start adding your logins. Congrats! You've just created your first password database. To add a login to the database, simply click on the Add New Entry button in the toolbar. This will bring up a window where you can input your login credentials and any additional details. Obviously, the username and password sections are required. However, everything else is optional. Once you're done adding your login information, simply click the OK button and KeePass will save the entry to your database. You also have the option to organize your entries by using grouped folders. Simply right-click on the root folder and select the new group option. A window will pop up asking for the name of the folder and an optional section for notes. When you're finished, click the OK button. As you can see, our previous entry is still present in the root folder, just not in our newly created folder. If you need to change the password or add additional information to an entry, simply right-click on the entry and select the Edit Entry option. Your database can be relocked in one of two ways. You can click on the lock icon or close out of the KeyPass program altogether. KeePass XC comes with some useful tools that are easy to use. We'll start off with the password generator. The password generator can be accessed in two ways, either the toolbar or under the tools option in the menu bar. Randomly generated passwords will appear in this box. This button randomly generates new passwords. 
This button copies the password to your clipboard for 30 seconds. Password length can be adjusted using this slider or manually entering the number of characters in the adjacent box. This section is where you can customize what characters you want to use in your generated passwords. Green boxes mean the character group is activated, while dark gray boxes mean they're inactive. If you want certain character groups to be turned on or off, simply click the corresponding boxes once. Clicking on the advanced button shows more character options for passwords. You may have noticed there's a green bar and entropy label under the password box. Both of these indicate the quality of the generated password, which is dictated by password length and variety of characters being used. Entropy indicates how easy the password is able to be cracked. The higher the bid level, the harder it is for the password to be cracked. As you randomly generate passwords, you can see the entropy levels change each time. Alternatively, you could use the passphrase generator which generates a random string of words instead of characters. This can be accessed by clicking on the passphrase tab next to the password tab. The layout is similar to the password generator. However, users are adjusting the number of words, a list of approved words, and what case the words are in. You also have the option to add extra word lists if you so choose. Now it's time for the exciting two FA features of KeePass XC. Let's start off with TOTP. For those who don't know, TOTP are those six-digit codes you receive via text message, email, or a phone app when you log into an account. To set up TOTP, we first need to log into the account that will be using TOTP. We will be using a Tutanota email account as our example. Keep in mind that not all services may have the two FA settings in the same location. So you may need to do a small bit of searching. Once you're logged into your account, go into the settings menu. Scroll through the sections until you locate the two-factor options. Select the authenticator option, followed by the option to enter the key manually. You should be presented with a string of characters, which will be the seed for your two FA codes. Copy the code, then open up your KeePass database. Right-click on the appropriate entry. Go to TOTP, then click Set up TOTP. Once the small window opens up, enter or paste the code you just copied into the box labeled Secret Key. Then press the OK button. Right-click on the entry again and scroll to TOTP. Click Show TOTP and a window will open with your six-digit code on display. Notice the window also gives a countdown timer until the code is refreshed. Copy the six-digit code and enter it into your account window. This is to verify that your authenticator is generating the correct codes. If your account hasn't returned any errors, then you're all finished. You now have TOTP configured for your account. Now we will be setting up the passkey feature. Before getting started, it's important to mention this feature will require linking your KeePass database to a web browser via a browser extension. So, installing the browser extension will be our first step. Open your browser and do a search for KeePass. Scroll down until you see KeePass XC Dash Browser. Verify the author is KeePass XC Team, then proceed to install the extension. Once the extension has been installed, go into its settings menu. Scroll down to the section titled Passkeys and check the box next to Enable Passkeys. Once that's done, close your browser completely. Next, open your password database, then open the KeePass settings menu. On the left-hand side, select Browser Integration. Check the box at the top labeled Enable Browser Integration. Next, check the boxes for each of the browsers you want KeePass XC to integrate with. When you're finished, hit the OK button. Do not close your KeePass database. Open your browser again and go to the KeePass XC extension. Click the Connect button to allow the extension to connect with your database. A window will pop up asking for a name for this connection and if you want to allow this connection to occur. Name the connection, then click the button that says Save and Allow Access. Before going any further, go to your KeePass database and edit your entry. Make sure the box labeled URL has the address for your account's website. 
otherwise you will encounter an error. Once that's done, switch back to your browser. Go to your account's login page. A window will pop up requesting browser access from KeePass XC. Click the Allow Selected button. On the login page, you'll see the KeePass logo on the right-hand side of the username box. Click on the logo, and your login credentials will be auto-filled. Go ahead and log into your account. Go into the settings menu of your account and go to the 2FA section where you set up TOTP earlier. Add a 2FA method and select security key. The KeePass extension will then ask if you would like to register your passkey. Click the register button and you're done. If you pull up your KeePass database, you'll notice a separate entry under the root folder with a globe logo. That is the entry for your passkey that you just created. To make sure the passkey works, completely close out of your browser and reopen it. Go to the login page again and click on the KeePass logo to autofill your credentials. When you click the login button, you will be prompted to use your security key. Hit the Use Security Key button and the KeePass extension will prompt you to authenticate. Once you've clicked the Authenticate button, you should be logged into your account. You now have a working passkey for that account. Switch to Linux recently did a guide on the passkey feature. I recommend watching that video if you need another guide to reference. KeePassXC is a great password manager that I highly recommend. Hopefully you found this guide useful. Feel free to leave any questions or even extra tips and tricks for everyone in the comments down below.